Welcome back, everybody. This is Excalibur, and uh, I'm on Feed the Beast again, as usual. Ha ha ha! Well, there have been a couple of things. <laughs> I killed another Hydra and another uh, Naga uh, while in the Twilight Forest. You can see, got Naga trophy. Another uh, trophy there. And one of the things I wanted to do grab this puppy and put him over here um uh, for some reason um <clears throat> i kept hearing chickens i don't know why i kept hearing chickens um why because i removed the chicken cooker yep 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 i did it worked fine. It worked fine. I gotta put some stairs in there. <clears throat> and you may hear the chicken sound still. I don't know if you heard that. I don't know where the chickens went. But I, uh... It may be in there. I don't know. Um... <clears throat> but I removed the chicken cooker because we... We have quite a bit of chicken one more there we go yeah if we come in here oh we've got 10,000 chicken there's no real need to be uh, upset about getting rid of the cooker at all just rearrange that yep 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 um I did some enchanting I got a much better bow than this one here the only difference is this has infinity on it and it does not have the punch. So I like this better. Even though it doesn't push mobs away, it still does a good job. Um, <clears throat> I need to add a barrel. <laughs> Nighttime. Maybe I should time it when I uh, wake up, huh? All right, let's put this here. Grab us one of these. And do that. Okay. Um. <clears throat> and just because I like symmetry. Pow. That looks pretty cool. Eventually, um, all the, uh, the gravels will be here one way or another but in any case I went ahead and uh, we've got our red if we go down one we've got our yellow huh it's a little disconcerting Yes, <laughs> I am like that. Okay, this guy has to go here. Okay, that makes me feel better. Um, <clears throat> Let us sleep. <coughs> I just noticed that looks like a, a Japanese anime style octopus. When you're looking at that. We're making clear glass, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've got to have my phone on because my wife is out with my son. If something happens, I need to be able to get there. But I turned the volume down because that is scary loud. Well, anyway, <clears throat> we have our red stained clay room, our yellow stained clay room, our blue stained clay room. And our purple stained clay room. Yay! Yep, I went ahead and made this um, the other day. Uh, one thing I did was instead of using full blocks down here, I used covers all around here and here. Things can't spawn because it's in one high space. And uh, I think it's the first room where we have barrels. All around. 
I also took the, and uh, you'll note, can't go down anymore. I also took the liberty of putting uh, one of these crafting stations, <clears throat> excuse me, at each and every um, level. And while I'm thinking about it, this irritates me, this little glow. So let's go into waypoints, home base, and we're going to edit that. And we're going to change Z to 497. Okay, it's not Z that I'm looking for. Maybe I should pay attention, huh? Let's see here. Edit. It's 498. It's fine. 11.05. All right. Getting there. I'm figuring out the, the way to put it. Put it at 11.02. There we go. Now that glow is out of the base. <clears throat> So yeah, if you if you had noticed, I got one of these guys at every level right off the bat. So instead of running all the way up and down, up and down, up and down, I can just come straight up here. One of the things I plan on doing is uh, reorganizing. So I have ores all in one place, ingots all in one place, that kind of thing. And uh, up here on the first floor... I'm going to have to find a way to set up storage buses <clears throat> for the AE network. If we come through here, see that we got we have some room. That we got some room. I will learn to speak one of these days. <clears throat> but we... Uh, we have more than enough room to put stuff there. So there's that. Um, <laughs> nothing much has really happened other than the Twilight Force stuff. Oh. There we go. I've collected so much maze stone and junk. I've had to put in some deep storage units. The mosaics are there. And the maze stone is there. We're, we're getting pretty close on uh, the brick. Oh, the decorative maze stone brick. The decorative brick. Chiseled maze stone. Cracked. And border. <clears throat> we will be adding uh, naga and a couple other things to it as well. Oops, there we go. I want to get some steel. Just for the fun of it, there we go. Um, let's see here. And we'll get this gold going as well. some of this back shall we we'll put the steel back um because we have a lot more gold available to us do, 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 do. wow that is a lot of molten glass I'm going to hold off on putting these guys in. Now let's have some fun. We can put this here. All the helmets up here. I've been doing a lot of repairing. Um, I don't have the infrastructure to do the repairing automatically yet. But it'll come. It'll come. It'll be here. Let's 
go ahead and melt down nine more of those. Seven blocks left. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Each one of these counts as one block of material. I can melt it all down. It's not like the ores. <clears throat> there we go. I believe it's... Yep, right here. And what I was going to do... Yeah, that'll mess things up. Oh, well. Let's go down to the armor level and get the rest of these. Two of these, and we'll get these guys. There we go. <clears throat> Too bad you can't melt these down. But, here's what we're going to do. These are all steel, if I'm correct. Take one of those. Two of those. Eight of those. Actually, I want to keep the steel helmets. Because we're going to do something. We're going to do something awesome. Go ahead and drop off these booties. There we are. We're going to come down here. Oop. We're going to grab this and this. Create these. Put this in the middle. And go to, 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 to pow. For an uncrafting table. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uncrafting table. Alright, can't put it there. So we'll just place it. Just place it. There we go. Uncrafting table. Twilight Forest. Awesome, awesome sauce. You take something like say steel chest plate. Put it there. Cost eight levels. And you can turn it into steel ingot. That, my friends, is awesome sauce. And I'm going to go ahead and put that up here. Because we have XP capability here. So let's see how much it costs. Chain, we can get the fire for five. Pants. Spend seven to get seven or eight to get eight. And we have eight nuggets. This is also a crafting table, so if we did that, we can actually pull out the steel helmets if we wanted to. But now we can claim all this stuff here. In addition to that, I think think can come in here let's see what happens if we do that we can pull out these guys from that which makes these worthwhile that reverses the uncrafting table reverses recipes so now I can finally get back resources that I've lost from doing too many crafting things. So let's see if I can find a gold chest should be fine, yeah. One, two, three. Throw this gold chest right there. Dump those pants in there and the chain. That'll go into our system. One, two, 
three and four. No sleep. <clears throat> so that turns out to be pretty freaking cool. Throw that in there. Um, this system has turned out to be awesome. Awesome. So I'm going to be doing a full 64 array. I just need to get wool, and that's why I went out and I actually got a sheep. So that will be pretty cool. Looks like we've got our clear glass. Excellent. One of the things I also wanted to do was finish this up. Alrighty. Um, I did a, a few minor tweaks. I updated my potions. So uh, they're what I'm accustomed to instead of the straight up bottles. Also, <laughs> mushroom stew looks like beer. Where are they? I think they're in this one. And bowls are, mu uh, are mugs. A uh, couple minor things here and there. Um, I updated my textures, so that's blaze powder. We'll go ahead and grab that and make ourselves magma cream, which we can place right up in here. Chapow. And uh, there are a couple other things that I changed. Um, one of the things I'd like to do is go through and change all my ingots so that they match the same stamp like this because I like the gold and the silver um, getting the ferrous and electrum and all that colors of all the ingots so that um, they match this and then updating the Tinker's Construct mold so that it produces um, ingots that look like this all the time. And that's, a, that's a big goal for me. So, uh, that's about it. Um, the phone call was my wife. She's coming home with lunch. So, whoa, that broke pretty quick and easy. There we go. So I'm going to have to leave here in a little bit. <clears throat> um, which is fine because we're almost at the wrapping up point. Uh, nothing else has really gone on. I did some more exploration of the Twilight Forest. Have not found much else. I did find the houses that I was talking about and killed the spawner inside. Yeah, no real biggie. But one of the things that uh, I am itching to do is once the ender quarry is done going over the Minotaur maze, I am going to head over to a Twilight Lich and uh, head to a Twilight Lich and get rid of his um his entire castle because there are lots of awesome blocks that you can get there one of them are disappearing doors I'd like to put those doors um, in place of my doors upstairs because uh, you have to right click them and they'll open temporarily and then they pop back closed that kind of thing so uh, <clears throat> I'll be looking at doing that as soon as I can but until next time this is Excalibur Enjoy playing Minecraft. Enjoy playing games. I am out. <laughs>